Hello YouTube. Hope you're doing great today. I recently started picking up doing square foot gardening in March and I really need an irrigation system. After doing some research, this is what I did, so hope you enjoy. Here are all the parts you need to build this irrigation system. For your reference, I have all the item numbers and model number from Lowe's.com. So you need three 10 foot long half inch PVC pipes, two half inch T PVC fittings, one half inch metal adapter PVC fitting, three half inch end caps, three half inch ball valves, and finally a half inch 90 degree elbow fitting. This adds up to less than $20. Optional, you'll also need a half inch poly male adapter if you're connecting to poly tubing or if you're connecting to a garden hose then you need a half inch female adapter and some of the tools that you'll need uh, one sixteenth inch drill bit, a drill, PVC cutters and optional you can use PVC primer and cement, lattice screws and metal or plastic hangers straps. So let's start building this. Alright here are my uh, one half PVC that are 10 foot long. They're actually 10 foot and a quarter, roughly a quarter inch long. Um, so if you, for my 4x8 garden, if I cut these pipes down to 8 feet long then they'll stick out by about three inches with the rest of the uh, plumbing. Um, now if you want to be very precise then I should be measuring eight feet all the way down here and cut it. Or I can just measure two feet right there and cut it off if I don't mind uh, it to be a little bit long. After I've marked where my eight foot mark is at, uh, is located and I like using these PVC pipe cutters uh, it's very easy to use all you have to do is position and just like a pair of scissors just squeeze down and cut right through it So those eight foot will be the irrigation pipes and these remaining two feet will be used to build the rest of the plumbing. I have a two by four that's ten foot long and I put a marker right here where the tube starts and since there's a shutoff valve right here if I want every six inches to have irrigation uh, then every six inches I just draw a dot on the two by four. Uh, this initial one, because it's a little bit shorter, so it's three inches, but then after that, it's every six inches, six inches, and so forth. You take the uh, PVC pipe and you position it right there uh, at the beginning marking. It's nice to have a T to help support it, so roughly right there, so it doesn't move around. And then after that, you just take a marker, and then you just follow the dots and just mark it every just put a dot on every one of them so after you mark it I like to mark it on the side that way I know that I have a certain angle that I'm making a dot on but then now I can just turn it back straight up and now I can drill a hole into every single place I marked. Through different forums and myself experimenting I found 1 16th of an inch drill bit works the best and all I do now is just drill straight through it. And I puncture both sides of the hole so it shoots horizontally to the soil, perpendicular to the soil, but if I don't want it to shoot horizontally, if I want to shoot it straight down, then I'll just drill one hole. Ok, 
okay, after you've cut off the uh, two foot, then we're going to use two pieces. One we're going to cut 11 inch, another one we're going to cut 11 inch. We'll have left over with two inch right here. Let's do that real quick. And let's cut out three and a half, three and a half, and a three and a half. With all these pieces, the basic assembly is just going to be ball valve, T's, 90's, these three and a halfs go right here, three and a half, three and a half, three and a half, goes right there, in between are these 11's, and at the very end, the inlet goes into. With that said, uh, you could use pipe cement to permanently glue it together. I personally have found that uh, unless you're 100% sure it doesn't really matter, just pushing them into place is um, good enough uh, because it's low pressure um, coming out the valve. So all you have to do is just push this in, push this in, push this in. Now, if you want to, you could just put the inlet right here, and then with this adapter, then the hose can come in from the side. Or, if you want it to, let's say if you don't want the hose to come from the side, you can then take a 90 and put it in there. And then have and then have the hose come from a different angle or from down up. It's very convenient. So there we go. Let's install it. One more quick tip. It's actually harder to put these pipes together without the cement. It doesn't uh, slide in as smooth. So if you're having trouble connecting them together, then uh, use a rubber mullet uh, or some leverage to try to push the pipes together. Alright Sean, can you help me put this pipe on here? This time, this uh, hanger tape and then drew it in. Can you help me with that? Okay. Alright, so first, you see this? Yeah. This piece of hanger tape? Yeah. Alright, we use a pair of metal shears and we cut it to the right length, okay? Okay. So, something like that, okay? That old duty dowel. Yeah, this is screws. So I have some three quarter inch screws. And we're going to drill it down, okay? okay. See, I'm going to put one down. And then I'm going to put another one on the other side. Alright, here you go. Okay. Hold the drill. Let me this down. Okay, can you drill that in, Sean? Okay. Alright, good job. Here we go. Do it. Alright, good job. Okay, let's go to the other side. Here, Sean. Um, I'm just like here. Here. Can you help me finish it? Alright, good job. Alright, now let's do the last screw right here. Yeah. We both. All right, all right, good job. Yay, it's all in. Okay, now let's put the pipe in. So, all I have to do is just push it in. Yeah, just a way to push it in. That's all. And thank you, Sean. You're welcome. Push that in. So next thing for me is, I'm going to connect this pipe to over there. 
and all that I need is just a coupler and insert Ooh, might need a 90 degree if this doesn't go through all right I'm gonna get a 90 degree just to make it cleaner okay so I think I'll cut it around right here insert a 90 and then twist Turn it around. And now I'm going to need a short piece right there. Oh, yeah, this is already in. I guess it's a red twist. Alright, that's it for this side. Alright, so at the end, I put an end cap right there. Uh, you just push it in and Just put these screws in real quick. I turn on the water, and as you can see, how this is watering. There's no leaks down here at all, right? And I can even adjust to spray. Maybe I want the middle one a little bit less strong and further ones out stronger. But, uh, and if the angle isn't right, then you can always just twist it. So there you go.